Hello in another repair video. In today's video I'm going to uh, have a look at the Xbox Series X which I bought on the Facebook market for £100. So let's fix it! Alright, so this is our Xbox Series X. You know, we can barely see here some details, so it's probably, the, you know, the guy who sold me that console. Because he said that, you know, this console was in one of the repair shops and they couldn't fix it. That's why he sold me this console for spares and repairs. Alright, so what we can see here straight away that, you know, the HDMI port is missing or maybe is somewhere there. You know, all settings, you know, the console was opened. You can see this. It's got some marks and scratches. It's not in perfect condition, you know. It is not. All right, so first thing what I need to do, I'm going to just plug the power cable. Let's see if that console turns on. So the console is totally dead. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this console and see what we've got inside. What can I expect? Can you see this? Someone didn't plug this box to the connector for some reasons. So I don't know if I should, you know, the, do it or no. Because what we can expect, we can expect something, you know, for example, liquid damage or any other issues. I think nothing worse can happen because, you know, probably the previous repair shops, they, they did try to boot it up without, you know, knowing what is inside, yeah? So, you know, this console costed me 100 pounds. So... I bought this console for spares and repairs, not powering on at all. Let's try to plug this and see if the console powers up. You know, the connector, the ribbon tape looks good. We don't have any signs of corrosion. You know, I don't think this console, you know, will power it up. But let's try, let's try this. Look, it powers up and it stays on. The fan is spinning right now. The console stays on. Weird. Very, very weird. You know, this console shouldn't have powered up at all. It should be dead. All right, I'm going to leave like that and I'm going to try the disc again. You know, I can hear it spinning, the disc. The disc is spinning right now. It's reading the disc. I'm 100% sure that this console works properly. But it's got missing HDMI port. <laughs> and we don't know what is on the motherboard actually. If it's gonna be easy fix or time consuming fix. But the most important is that the console is on and it stays on. Wow. I can't believe it, you know. Alright, so it's very nice. Nice. Let's gently disassemble it and check what we've got. And as we can see here, we've got some sign of corrosion, but only here. You know, the motherboard looks very, very weird here on the edges. But you know, the other things, they look good. There is a missing HDMI port, but I know why. Because look at this. Look at this. There is no parts. So I don't know, this sign of this type of liquid damage is weird. It looks like... This console was, you know, in the loft, not insulated loft for a long time. 
you know the parts are not corroded here that's the top of the of, of those coins all right let's go under the microscope look the most components are in touch not corroded nothing just the top of the coils here is a bit more corrosion and this is the place around the hdmi port and this looks bad this is our retimer i see so the worst is this area hdmi port area any corrosion here just a bit so it's not so bad you know the console still powers off that mean nothing major was happened to this console all right let's quickly have a look at the other side of the board if you can any liquid damage This is the area where the HDMI circuit is on the top. So the top and the bottom, we've got something like that.
this these two cups they were no good they were corroded you know the base of it they the base of them they were they were corroded so what i'm going to do i don't have a donor board from xbox series x yet but you know this this ic chip looks very similar to the chip from xbox one x so let's try to remove them Let's apply some thermal paste on the EPU. Now the moment of true. Hopefully it will work.
you could see that I've assembled you know the console back but I've tested it and it was no picture at all on the screen and I realized that you know I've done one very important mistake because you know as you can remember the when I was rebuilding you know the paths and traces one pin was loose and I don't know why but I, I was thinking you know it was just the ground pin so I said to myself, ah, oh, it's not necessary really to connect it. So it's not the ground pin. Look at this. And the pin number, actually, is pin, pin number 15. See? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So this pin number 15. The, you know, the trace is underneath and it's about here. So I don't, I'm not going, you know, to you know, desolder that port as it was done really really nicely and solid all right so let's apply some flux pin number 14 uh, sorry pin number 15 So let's test it with the multimeter. Most important for me here is that we've got continuity here. Yes, we've got, and this one should be the same, and we got it. So now, now I'm going to apply some solder mask and I'm going to secure some of the points. so let's assemble it back and test it again hopefully this is the last try because you know to disassemble this console it is a nightmare actually this is the worst console to assemble and disassemble I've seen all right so this is the moment of true first what I'm going to do I'm going just to plug my tester see if you can see it should light up number 15 16 and 18 all right I've just powered powered this up and as you can see we've got all lights what I need to know that means we should see a picture on the screen actually yeah I can feel the fan is spinning Yes, 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 we did it, finally. Probably this Xbox Series X will stay with me instead of that PlayStation 5. Because you know, if something is limited like web browser on PlayStation 5, you know. I know why they've done this, because you know, problem with PlayStation 4. You could jailbreak PlayStation 4 through web browser. You know, Xbox Series X, they, it's got Microsoft Edge web browser. And they didn't limit it because, you know, someone was trying to jailbreak. There are some, like I said, there are some different the other ways to close the back door they had in the uh, consoles i hope you enjoyed of this video thank you for watching thank you for likes and subscribes and see you next time